Good afternoon. Welcome to the Costa Women's Basketball Closing Press Conference with Head Coach Danny El Santos Atkinson and my Ron Essen and Brooke Anya. Coach, uh, get your thoughts following the win over Northeastern. Uh, it's really proud of this team in the past few days, the work that they put in. Um, there were so many things out there tonight that I thought they were intentional about. Uh, we talked about things we needed to improve in order to get better individually and as a group, and we saw some intentionality throughout the entire game, uh, being able to have such good production all around. It, it was a team effort, and, and that's what we needed to, to be able to do tonight to get it done. Question. Um, you held Darren Erdogan on the 6 for 19 from the field. She's the freshman lead scorer, and you do that for a whole game. And you really shut her down for the first half, but then you just keep going. How were you able to do that? Uh, I, I thought I thought that I mean it was it was a total team effort. We did a lot of switching out there on the floor. Um, as you mentioned, she's a great player down the stretch. She was able to hit some hit some tough buckets, but I thought throughout the game they did a great job in, in forcing some tough shots, understanding personnel out there on the floor, making the right decisions. Um, when when there were attacks to the basket, we had great help side, great drops on the backside, and so I just think a total team effort, um, and that's what it takes when you have great players uh, such as her. Uh, it's going to take everybody in order to to make those shots tough. But I thought our, our guards did a great job in, in knowing where she was and making sure that we were there on the catch. Uh, after holding Northeastern to just five points after the first quarter, what was the message to the team from the defensive intensity up? Uh, so we had been there before in these past few games, right? Past few games, we've had great first quarters, um, and we have allowed uh, our intensity to take a dip, sense of urgency to take a dip um, in, the next, in the next quarters. And so – we just talked about how we keep up our defensive intensity, how we make sure we maintain our offensive execution, um, and just being able to continue to play with a sense of urgency, not uh, honestly, not get bored, right? Not get tired um, and not start giving in to fatigue. Coach, that was one of the strongest one of the goal point of the dominance you had. What kind of prep went into the past few quarters to have that kind of um, it really, it was a mental. It was it was a mental preparation. Um, we at this point in the season, you got to know what to do, and this team knows what to do. And now it's um, being willing to do it all of the time. Um, having the the mental toughness and the physical toughness to be able to again fight through fatigue, to be able to to be able to play through mistakes and frustration, um, and be able to to weather the storms that come. Um, and I thought they had a willingness to do that tonight uh, on the defensive side. What were some of the lessons? Um, again, that def defensive, that defensive intensity, um, and being able to weather the storm. We we talked about it after the game on Sunday. We said they're going to be the same amount of runs. It's going to be the same, um, similar, uh, similar things that happen in terms of ref calls, good or bad, uh, mistakes. We're not going to play a mistake free game. Um, but how do we weather that storm and stay with it mentally? How do we stay with it and stay together? Um, throughout that time, and I thought they did a great job. Uh, we, I thought we shared the ball a lot better tonight than we did in that previous game. Um, well, we did a great job of moving the ball, forcing them to to play out of rotations, um, and finding great either interior or perimeter shots. They were looking for each other, and in, in turn, we got great opportunities. Brooke, every game that I've uh, called so far this season, I've noticed that you were just all over the floor at all times, just diving <laughs> on loose balls and you led the team offensive rebounds today, and you're always just making sure that you're boxing out the team. Do you kind of put that responsibility on yourself to just win those areas, or is that kind of like your team's responsibility? Um, both. Um, I've come into the program to, you know, do everything I can. And last season we kind of lacked a little bit in those parts, so I'm here to do the best I can. And coach has gotten on me because I've slacked a little bit recently. But I'm trying to get back into getting as many boards as I can for my team because those are extra possessions. Can you talk about you know, your partnership with the Valley Knights and the unselfish player? You finally saw Ali go down early in that game, but five assists for her from everywhere got a big bucket. Mm -hmm. I love when Allie's in the game because we can just like look at each other and I'll know where to go and she'll just pass it to that spot and I'll get there. So I know when Allie's in the game, like she gets me a lot of my shots and. Off the court, we're so close, so we just have a great connection. I think she had a little bit more than five. Yeah, we might yeah. have to check that that so. stat uh, there. She did a great job tonight uh, of finding and creating mm -hmm. opportunities for everybody. And I just want to add that she's a great facilitator, not only for Emma, but, like, overall. And she she's, had seven rebounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Literally, she's like, oh, like, Brooke, you're boxing out, so I'm going to try and supply in. 
like, okay, you're taking my rebounds, but I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we were just playing and having fun with it because, you know, uh, Friday night didn't really go as planned, but today was a new day and we were like, we're going to play. And Northeastern got us last time and we're like, it's not happening again. Yeah, it was fun. I feel like everyone was doing really good in their role and we just all clicked so well. So, Brooke and Emma, uh, women's basketball has really been buzzing recently with Caitlin Clark breaking the record. Mm -hmm. and and Nancy Drew going up against a great shooter like Steph Curry. Does that give you any added motivation coming into games like tonight? Yeah. Yes, most definitely. Um, I think with women's basketball being on a platform that it is, it's just pride. Like, And obviously we're the pride, but like, it's just like being out there and just enjoying the moment because at the end of the day, like you're playing for your teammates. So. Yeah, and there's a lot more talk around women's basketball too. So like we're kind of in the mix. It says there's like 800 people here tonight, and that's really cool. Uh, coach, kind of stepping away from competitive side of basketball, uh, y'all, the coaching staff, wearing pink, the players are in pink shirts, uh, with the pink uniforms. Just talk about uh, the, today's uh, Play for K games and the partnership with uh, the World of Pink Foundation. Yeah, first of all, the World of Pink Foundation is just incredible and amazing at, at, at what they're doing and the change that they're looking to make. Um, and what they've been able to do to uh, advance um, to, to find a cure. I, I think just phenomenal people, um, just with great hearts. But uh, again, it's, it's more than basketball. We said it before. It's, it's got to be more than basketball. We, we play basketball. It's not who we are. Um, we want to be able to use our platform in a way that, that over, just helps the overall general good. And everybody has somebody that's been affected. Um, and to be able to come out here and, and honor those people and, and play for them just means so much more um, as you step out here and you, and you play and coach this game. Coach, Brooke, Emma, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.